Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a heat map for a project plan. So I'm going to create some tasks, three tasks, I'm going to add some resources and I'm going to get it coloured up depending whether the task is over allocated or not. So first of all, let's put some dates in, I'll just make this a little bit bigger. B2, if I just do control semicolon, which gives you today's date and then just pull that across for the duration of the task that I'm going to do. I've got hashes there, so if I click on this little corner and I can just double click anywhere and that will do auto fit. So let's do task A, task A, and then how many work hours for that task, and then resource one and resource two. I'm going to put two resources on that task. Now, before I do any more resources, I'll just type down here resource availability. So resource. So you would know what your resource availability is. Now I want that to wrap text. So if I go back up there and wrap text, just widen that a little bit. And I want that to sit at the top. Okay, so who have I got? Let's say we've got Bill. Ben, um, John. Now, now if I just put the hours that they're available, so let's say Bill is available eight hours every day on this project. So just pull that across. Ben, not available, not available then four hours. And then not available for the rest of the time. So just pull that one across. And let me just get rid of some of these so we can see. We can insert them again later. So Anne, not available, not available, all the way across to say there. And let's say she's got eight hours and then none for the rest of it. And then John. He's available four hours, then two hours. She pulled two hours across, and then zero from then on. So these are just your resources. You would know what these availability in terms of hours are. So now what I want to do is indicate the, the task and then get that to automatically color up using conditional formatting. So for task A, let's go. I'll do a T for tasks and I can use that, let's say that's three days. And I want this line to be, whenever I type T, to go blue. So conditional formatting, manage rules, new rule. So if it's equal to T, go blue. Format blue, font color blue as well, so I don't uh, see that. So that's gone to blue. So let's say for this first task, we need 16 hours work on day one and then eight hours for the other two days. That's the required work. Now you can see straight away that I haven't got enough resources to do this. So what I'm going to say is resource one is going to be Bill and he can do it. He's available eight hours for them three days. So that's great. So I'll just pull that across. So I can then put eight 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 but i need 16 hours for this and i haven't got 16 hours so i'll put john on and then we're going to have a problem because he can only do four hours and he can't do um well he can do two hours there can't he so i'll just pull him across two hours and two hours so two two so i don't need him on these because there's only eight hours required so I'll put that back so he's got spare he's got spare capacity there but I could have put him in there but we now we've got a problem here so I want to do a little sum allocated and then over under let's put over under so allocated is a sum of these two so I'm just gonna click on auto sum click on the top one do a comma and not millions of commas, 
one comma and then click on B7 or type B7 which is what I've done there so allocated 12 and then we've got basically over under which is equals allocated minus required which is that figure tick that and we get minus 4 now if I pull that across in a moment that's that's it so that's now showing that I'm minus 4 on there and that's okay and these are the allocated hours now I need to I want to color this up so we can see what's going on so we're going to do some more conditional formatting so just to highlight these so basically if it's less than zero I want it to go red if it's greater than zero I want it to go green so conditional formatting manage rules new rule less than zero which means it's a negative format red fill red I do want to leave the number there so I'll leave that there okay okay just apply that one to see if it worked yes it did new rule format cells that contain greater than zero format green and pick a green that one okay okay apply that okay so that's all right so let's test that one so if i put um seven up there that's gone green that's that's okay that's worked so now we've done this one so we've got the task at the top there which is basically every time i type t you're going to get that on there now if i highlight these and give these the same sort of rule if i copy this so I'll use the format painter to double click so on this one if I go across that right so that's not gone green and I wanted that to go green that's because I didn't copy the right cell knock that off this cell copy that highlight those three it's gone green highlight those three it's gone green now what happens if I push that all the way across to the end so because obviously that's going to go to the end that's okay that's okay so nothing there at the moment I'll just knock that off if I put a figure in there yeah it goes green which is great so I've got it colored up how I want it so I've got the allocations there and if it's um, zero it's staying plain now I need to allocate a second task I'm just going to color this one in a bit so I'll make that yellow and bold so it stands out so now task B control B task B just make that mustard as well now I need to make myself some space here so I'm just gonna insert these rows knock these down so work hours for task B so let's look at task B first of all let's say there's gonna be a doubling up here so if I type T T T T four days now that's already got conditional formats on it so if I double click on that do it again double click I should just be able to wipe that over there. And I'll do the whole row actually. And I'll do all that row. I don't think I did that, but there you go. Now I've done the whole row. Knock that off. So if I type T anywhere else, it should go blue. It does. Delete the T. Right, so that's the second task, task B. So let's just say on this one, it's just eight hours until then and then let's have 16 hours like so so 16 hours there so i should be able to copy the format from that double click if i do it all the way along that's it knock it off so the format's there so now i need to that was work hours so i need to put that in there as a label work hours and then we've got resource one resource one who can do this so looking down at this little list let me just delete well I don't I'll delete I'll just move it up who can do this so Bill has got eight hours but he's already doing eight hours there so we've got Ben 
Okay, so Ben can do four hours on that one. And a resource two, second resource, will be John. So John can do two, but I'm still going to be short two. Short two. Right, so now I need to move this down again. So let's just insert something there. Let's get the, the right structure. So resource one, resource two. And then that's that. And then we need this, copy this down. So copy that and paste that there. So the formula I've already done. So if I just copy these two, copy these two, copy and drop them in there. It should come up with the correct formula and the correct conditions, which it has. I'll just pull that across for this task. So it's saying minus eight because I've not allocated any resources. All right, so now what we can do this second task. So second task, I've got Bill available again, so I can put Bill in there. And he can do eight hours. So that's gone green. And Bill can do that again. So resource Bill, eight hours. It's gone green. Now we've got Bill again, but we've got a problem again here. So not going to have enough resource. So Bill, eight. And second resource is going to be John, two. So two. So we're six, six hours short there, two hours short there, four hours short there. So that's basically how you're going to have to find extra resources. And if you haven't got them, obviously you can't do that or somebody's going to have to do overtime. So if I just zoom this down a little bit, I want this all to be gridded. So it's all in nice, a nice format like so. So you can see it like so. So that's just a very short video of how you can use Excel to create what's called a heat map where you've got things colouring up depending on availability in this case. Now you could be a bit more detailed than this and you could have it change into amber say when somebody's getting on this list here you could sort of do formulas to get these to colour up green if they're okay, red if they're not and then amber if they're getting close to being over allocated. But this is just a very simplistic um, example of how to do a heat map. So hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.